Oh, right. Okay, let's continue with the quest. I was exploring the map and I think I accidentally started another giant quest. And there's still time for this event. So we're checking some other day. Right now... Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, we're following the path of destruction of the Rift Hounds. Uh, uh. Huh. Mm. Are those guys here? They were supposed to be squatted back here. Behold! Huh. Too slow. Following me. Oh. Oh yeah. We kind of had that continuously. Huh. Too slow. I forgot about it. Quit following me. Okay, I think that huh. is where it was. Too stopped. slow. Ah. Uh. Oh. So, if that's it, this is just still for me back there. Won't it? Oh. Wait, what's wrong? Why can't we continue on? Strange. It seems like something's blocking the way. Uh oh. What do we do? We could use Samer to break the wall down. The currents over there. Which currents? I apologize, Mr. Ignus, but that is impossible. The thickness of the rock wall extend, exceeds my output limits. I would run out of energy before a tunnel could be successfully bored. A swim from over there. Father's blood is already... Blood? Mamie, are you okay? What blood? We cannot delay any further. Let's swim from over there. Okay. And apparently my bot isn't working again. Damage. Man, it always stops working. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. And the, for the kind of thing that I use seems to be so basic that Twitch <laughs> should be able to do it by itself. I remember that the currents here used to flow in the opposite direction. Those regular record space correlation can decrease the frequency of such issues efficiently. Huh? I don't remember really. Call me from here. Huh. That was another path. New? Oh. oh, is that Jacob? That's a purple guy. Whoa, what happened to that strange giant stone all of a sudden? And look at the color, does it basically look like a heart? That's right, this is the original form of the heart. Wait, that's your Jacob. What are you doing? Gathering paint, as you, you can see. 
Oh, I didn't really notice he had more hands. Uh, I don't remember. Have I fought any collector one? Um, paint. Okay, I think this is a new one. Yeah. Uh, what an in interesting way to describe this filth. And to think that anyone was set up upon this cave, this ca upon canvas. Mm, what is that? What? Still, your arrival here was quite unexpected. I could have sworn I sealed all the entrances. Did I slip up somewhere? We just walked here. Oh, swim. You're a member of the Abyss Order, aren't you? Come on, Paimon. It's. Do we have to ask? Uh -huh. Where is it? Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's evil, there's you guys. Huh? The Abyss Order. Oh, please. Do not lump me with those benighted primitives. Come on. You're just like a herald. Uh, they are no different from those oppressors. Which one? The power they seek is but a tool that only a few can use. And what we search is, f what we search for is true equality, the liberation of the will. Just as my friend said, those who lack weakness of consciousness will, shall not be subdued either by gods or death. Stop your prattling. If you weren't with the Abs Order, how do you explain the magic you used earlier? I merely used the power of the Abyss to reverse the crystallization process, that's all. In any case, I had not expected to see its heart withered so much to such an extent after a mere few hundred years. As such, it needed to be restarted for me to obtain sufficient blood. Sufficient blood or a vampire? Yes, a rather inelegant method of doing things, you might, ask, you might think. Unless there is no other way, I too initially believed that I could obtain the congeal blood from Miss Mamir through peaceful means. This would have allowed the plane to go through without alerting the Mars Chaucy hunters. Unless that backfired. Too bad, I suppose. Wait, didn't you previously say that you wanted paint? Uh, what's this conscious blood you're babbling about? Explain. Come on, it was pretty clear. I just don't know why he did that. Wait a moment. Ah, this is more interesting than I thought. So you don't actually know what those paints really are, or the power they contain. I see, I see. It seems I spoke too much. How terribly unexpected. Still, I fail to understand. Why would you want to get close to Miss Mamir if you don't understand the value of those paints? Don't bring us down to the level of sneak scheming schemers like yourself. Besides, you summoned the monsters earlier, didn't you? What did you do that for? What did you have to attack the other medicines? Ah, come on, okay. Attack then. I hardly have time for such frivolous pursuits. Well, in theory, the rays I activated in those ruins to reverse the crystallization would indeed have temporarily opened the way into the realm of beasts. I suppose that's how the monsters you mentioned were attracted here, like flies to festering meat on the road. Hmm. We don't usually see meat on the road, and people don't really run over animals here. As for those melusines, well, unrelated matter, I fear. Let's not discuss them. You compared to that, Mr. Ignus, I do indulge my curiosity. What do you think of the original sites here? Now that you've seen them. Look at your feet, blood flowing, it still looks like water, flowing like a river, fertilizing the very dust of the earth with their filthy pet. Uh, if I told you that a greater disaster than that will come one day, how would you react? 
yeah, we kind of know about these things, but from the other quests that we didn't really have to do. Uh, what are you talking about? Blood? Bath? Hasn't this place only turned just a little bit red? Negative. The blood has already risen over Ms. Ignus' ankles. The local contamination index now over 10 times the human body's endurance threshold. Well, I, I think I am not he really human by your standards in this world. Uh, I recommend that all present leave this area for your own safety and to prevent following allergies, confusion, white matter distortion, mental deterioration, and I see that's how far it's gone. Huh? How sad, but fear not, I will liberate you. The moment foretold by the world formula is coming. There is little time left. Yeah, this has a lot to do with our other quests. Jacob, the nature is built in the end. Cry loud! The wind rises. Oh. Ah, uh, you're like that the boss. Seriously, I thought that was a few times. I don't know this head. Four arms. I hear everything. Fascinating. I thought that you were only able to reach this place purely through luck. But apparent but it appears as if that was not all. In the Jumakaraz, Mr. Ignus, could you tell me who you are exactly? Come on, uh, if the main character knows, shouldn't the player also know? Uh, that's none of your concern. I'm going to answer. Well, that's fine. It was just a mild curiosity of mine, after all. In any case, I have any further time to waste here. The appointed time is coming, and I have enough blood to use. Any further delay may invite unwanted attention. We're not gonna let you get away. What time are you talking about? And that is none of your concern. It has nothing to do with you, after all. Anyway, and just look out. What the? What's this? Any of this pickpo? Uh. What have you done to Ignus? I wouldn't use that word. It is a matter of utility, not morality. You are indeed very strong, Mr. Ignus, but I wouldn't say the same for the others. Huh. Where did those monsters come from this time? Apologies, Jacob Ingold, but I fear I cannot let you do this. Miss Mamir, Miss Pymo, please get behind me. My duty is to the faint. All attempts to harm you will not succeed. Oh, Samuel sacrificed himself. Such arrogance, you piece of soulless scrap. You were unable to defend Marianne then? Oh, Mar And all you will do today is confront that incompetence once more. Marianne? And should you survive this battle, the giant revived beast will crush and digest you all. Well then, farewell. Uh, they're coming this way. Yeah, but why do you want to resurrect it? Alright, come on. Please cut your attacks will not attack structurally. Gently, I'm to not equipped. But you have anything of something? Father. It's a breach of prime, having the traveler stack the barrier. You can't see? I uh, guess we're finally safe, huh? Still, so what was that with that round thing? It was helping us. Amir, are you okay? Yes, father. Uh, uh, here. Oh, Pamela, thought you were talking to us. It's a sound again. 
I understand. Since this is your will, it will be done. Okay. So, we're back. I understand. Since this is your will, it will be done. Ignus, Paimon, could you both strike a pose? I'm going to start drawing. Hmm. Uh, wait a moment. Paimon hasn't, hasn't mentally prepared herself or figured out what pose to strike. Actually, wait. Why are we doing this here and now? Uh, I don't know how to explain, but I think Seymour can help. Logical module, calculating, attempting to rationalize reason for question, results in insufficient data. Cannot answer. My logical module concludes that your decision is far from logical, Miss Mamir. Seriously, Seymour, what are you doing? And also, why did you push the problem to him, Mamir? My primary design goal is to now sorting data fragments. Uh, Seymour, you okay? Oh boy, looks like he's hanged. Sorry, Paimon, but there's no time to explain. If you don't hurry, it'll be too late. I'm well, sure, okay. This doesn't quite feel right, but Paimon trusts you. I have faith in you too, Mamir. I know you won't do anything to harm us on purpose. Uh, but, uh, Paimon hasn't said what pose to strike yet. You are posing already. And the Thugzinus is trying an all goals just as plain pose, strike a come on your lot pose, strike confident pose. Okay, I say this one is the confident pose. Mm. I think this could be when she is bashing her feet on the air. I'm not sure how goes as plain. Ah, that, that's that. Then Pamo also another thing. We're holding this pose too. Yep, you look great. No, I thought it was would be a little more dynamic. Uh, okay then, leave the rest to me. Mamir takes a deep breath, almost as if encouraging herself, and with a few wags of her short little tail, she gets to work without another word. Her expression and the looks she gives you are resolute and earnest. Solemn, some might even say. Uh, not long after, her work's done. It's done. Will we get this one? Wow, that was super quick. Well, in this, let's have a look, shall we? Wait. Oh. oh, we're getting transported through the painting. Uh, nice to meet you. What's the name of that place? Line Dreamer. No. Apologies, <laughs> Inus. I brought you here before I even had a chance to say hello. Many trouble helping clear out the poison. Inus, please activate the prisms to clear them out. Just walk straight. That takes care of that. Thank you. I might invite you up here. I still have so much to say to you. Quit following me. Behold. Oh, you're finally here. I've always wanted to meet you and talk to you. 
you know me? Are you father? Yes, I've been watching you all this time. Or should I say, sensing you. I felt your presence ever since that child of mine who loves art brought you inside my body. Okay, you don't look like the giant. Warm. Uh, it was like a warm light it was running to and fro within my organs and blood vessels. Elenas. Yes, that is my name. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Why did you appear in the form of medicine? Why? Well, I find the form to be very beautiful. Don't you think so too, Ignis? Yeah. I love them very much, for they are, one and all, my lovely children. In here, I can decide my own appearance, so of course I choose to look what I love most. The melusine are your children. Literally, or you just consider them. That's right. That happened a long, long time ago. Not long after I first experienced death, I think. First, you have experienced death more than once. Many, many people. A spirit of the primordial waters and many metal animals came into my body. I thought they... I thought that they, like those two other people, were here to explore and gather my blood. I was originally just happy to have people here, but they chose to fight each other in the end instead. But of course, I was dead at that point, I was too weak to do anything beyond watching them in silence and feeling the wounds they left inside my body. In the end, someone triggered an explosion that caused a terrible shockwave. Many people died, and those metal animals also died. The survivors left, and everything was very quiet once more. A lot of sharp shards pierced my body from the explosion's impact. But later, tiny life emerged from those wounds and from my broken flesh. I was so overjoyed, for they were beautiful and intelligent. Also, that was when I realized that I could do more than destroy. I could bring beautiful new life into the, this world. Okay, wh why, why were they exploding? So I spoke to them and told them many th things. I taught them how to build a home for themselves, that they might grow up well. Then there was happiness and liveliness everywhere. Later, they gradually became unable to hear my voice. That's not fine though. Just as mother once said farewell to me, all children must grow up and leave their parents. Who is your mother? Only that child who loves painting still speaks to me. And she even brought her friends. That's how I came to meet you. I truly am happy that that's the case. So you're mommy's father. That's right. Still, you truly are special. It was, it was only when the situation was past salvaging that I realized how my blood was poisonous to humans. But when you came into contact with my blood, not only did you not get poisoned, but instead you slowly became linked to my and my daughter's consciousness. You began to see and sense many things. You are the second person I have met who did not fear my blood. Oh, uh, if you, if only there was more people, like, there were more people like you. Who was the other person? Ah, uh, so you don't know each other. But I saw you saying so many things to one another. Okay, so my sister had become here. I refer to the person who made my heart start beating again. Jacob. A long, long time ago. He and someone else came into my body to collect my blood. Absorbing my blood would really raise his spirits. At that time, my children were not yet born, and I felt rather lonely as I lay here. As such, I was very pleased to meet them, and was very pleased to have helped him out. He must have tried to restart my heart to thank me for helping him out using my blood. But I'm afraid I can't accept his kindness. As such, I thank you for stopping him and me. Why? 
Well, if I were to be revived, my heart would beat, my blood would surge, and my internal organs would come to life again. What would happen to my children, then? They and their beautiful little houses would be crushed in the chest. That would be too terrible a tragedy. Well, we could evacuate, and then you could help them build something else, a new home later. I might look like this now, but my body is, in truth, very big and frightening. In the beginning, my siblings and I took leave of our mother and came to play on the surface. Okay, so I think, beside, despite being calling, called a uh, worm, I think it is one of the dragons. But I realized that, at last, that the things I found fun and joyous were terrifying to others. It was too late by then, and I was filled with grief and regret. That's why I asked Mamir to use my blood to create a painting and give it to you. That way, I get the chance to thank you in person. Thank you, Vince, for stopping my heart. And so long as I live, I, I will bring grief to others. Okay. So long as I live, I will bring grief to others. And I never wish to see that happen ever again. You are very welcome. I don't know, I think you could be careful. Just don't play on top of cities. I mean, I did it to survive too. I did stop Jacob as well. Yeah, we're fine. I see. Anyway, this is a rare opportunity. I haven't been this clear-minded in a very long time. Why don't we chat about some other things? Okay, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Tell me about your origins. Mm -hmm. Sure, my mother is the reason I exist. Mother is the most wonderful person in the world. She gave me my name, and it is a lovely name. I is she an actual person, or person like you? Uh, before I was born, I floated in the cosmic darkness. It was cold there, and lonely. I was so sad then, that I would often cry. But later, I heard mother's voice. She wished for me to be born into a beautiful world, to give me life, to give me a strong and healthy body that could walk the world. Slither the world. You, you didn't have legs, did you? Uh, to grant me a beautiful name. She wanted to give me many siblings, wanted me to meet many friends, wanted me to see the beautiful sights beyond the, the cosmic dark. She did not deceive me, and I was very happy. My elder siblings treated me well, and later, many younger ones came along, and I treated them just as my elder siblings treated me. Later, we left the world beneath the earth, and felt the wind brushing against my skin. The warmth of the sun, waters icy and warm. Ah, so you came from the underground. Life is wonderful. And it was wonderful that I was able to witness this world. Only later did I discover that I was different from the life in this world. The things that brought me happiness, the things that interested me, they were frightening and terribly hurtful to those of this world. Eventually, I fell here and died. So just died? I thought somebody killed you. Uh, that saddened yet gladdened me. I treasured the life I was giving my mother, but my life would bring everyone such pain, so it was better this way. Later, just as mother gave me life, I gave my children life. That they may walk upon this world, that makes me very proud and very happy. Is there anything else? Tell me about Jacob. That person from before, you mean? I fear no little about him. He is not like you. Even after drinking my blood, he cannot speak to me as you do. In the beginning, he came with someone else to search for the blood within my body. At that time, I could feel that they were different. There is something within him, a bit of the dark, 
called Cosmos Power. Eh, uh huh. As I thought, I thought so. My blood would do him good. Wonderful. Later, he would come often to collect my blood. All the way up till there was a great battle involving many people here, him included. He didn't come back again after that. To be honest, I was worried that he might have died. Imagine how happy I was to see him return, alive and well, and so tall and strong. Okay, but that didn't really expand on him. But that Breacher Prime was from earlier? Ah, well, I saw that you were trapped and thought, if this goes on, I will be revived, and you will all die. My strength began to return, so I thought, why don't I use one of my cells to attack the thing trapping you? That way you'll be able to move. That was one of your cells. That's right. They can help to drive harmful things away from my body and protect my children. However, they aren't as smart as my children, so they will attack you too. Sorry about that. Still, I'm glad to have helped out. That's pretty cool. Well, I need to go find my mirror will worry. That's true. Well, I'm almost out of time too. There are a lot of things I'd love to talk to you about, but the life I received this time is almost spent. Could you do me a favor though? In this... What do you need? Well, you can always talk through Mamir. Uh, could you tell Mamir uh, what to say? How about this then? Your paints are very beautiful. I love you and I'm so very proud of you. You won't talk to her again? Alright, and please get along with your sisters. They love you very much as well. Third, thanks a bunch, Jeans. I've got it. Alright then, thank you. Honestly, it was great meeting you. Someday I hope that I'll be able to traverse this world without fear of causing harm or death to others. When the time comes, I'll be sure to show you what I really look like. Will that day ever come? Hey, Ignus, Ignus, are you alright? You've been staring at the painting this whole time. Seriously, you were just like Samer. He just said he would be searching for data, and since then he's just not moving at all. Your paintings are very beautiful. I love you and I'm very proud, so very proud of you. Hinus, you, I, you. Wait just a minute, where did all that came from? Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry. My eyes are a little dry from all that staring. Uh, wait just a minute. Uh, someone asked me to pass their words on to you, Mamir. I see, thank you. Please get along with your sisters. They love you very much as well. Uh, come on, I've always gone along, with, along well with everyone, seriously. But since father said so, I got it. Thank you, Ignis. Uh, Pam didn't notice this before. But when did that thing over there turn back to stone? The shaking from before seems to have stopped too. Wait, oh, were you in such a hurry to pain? for us because... Wait, I almost got it. People call really good paintings absorbing, don't they? So I painted that in order to absorb ins, right? Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. What happened, really? I'll explain detail later. Well, I don't really know how did she stop the heart with the painting. Uh, the problem here seems to have been resolved at least. We're safe for now, us and the Melusines. Alright then, but you better explain later. Yes, Ignus Paimon, do you, what do you think of this painting? Uh, well, please feel free to critique it. I didn't have much time and it wasn't my best self, so I'm not very confident about it. 
Uh, that feels like an excuse. I've got to stop doing that. So, what do you think? I absolutely love it. It's even cooler than the real Paimon. Hmm. What? Paimon doesn't get the painting at all. That's wonderful. Paimon doesn't know uh, what to say about your art other than it looks amazing. Uh, is this what they call an artistic bathrooms of fire? Hi. Well, I'm glad you like it away. As long as you do, I'm happy. Come on, can they show us? Hey, I'm fine. I'm not a very good speaker. I like you, Paimon, but when I'm with you, I'm very happy. That's why I want to give you something that makes you happy, too. Preliminary memory fragment sorry, is complete. Mm. You're back, Seymour. I may now answer previously unanswerable questions as well. Hey, I'm from Brazil. Previously unanswerable. Which questions were those? I don't even remember what I asked him. The one about my master that Miss Pamon asked, as well as my aforementioned purpose. I am prototype, whatever, uh, designed by Garbo Mechanical Noises to accompany and protect my master, Miss Mary Ann. Uh, Mary Ann, that Jacob guy mentioned that name as well, didn't he? Affirmative. Miss Mary Ann was my master, and my prime directive was to accompany her on behalf of, on behalf, and ensure that she would. Smile happily. I have not been able to fulfill my duty for a large number of clockwork cycles due to the lack of a relay module. In truth, I cannot certain Miss Marianne's present location either. This should never happen. My logic unit requires immediate repair. As such, if you do not mind, allow me to depart for now. My standard deduction module has already calculated the most likely location where I may collect information. And I must go there. Uh, wait, Seymour. Are you leaving? Can we go with you? Primitive. I thank you for your care thus far, Miss Mamir, but I have a duty that I must fulfill. Uh, then I'll come to. Negative. Deduce danger level high. For your safety, I must refuse your proposal, Miss Mamir. But I will promise to return and express formal gratitude to you once I find my master. Unfortunately, some of my memories remain damaged, so I do not presently know where the Narcissus and Scrolls Ordo that I must reach is precisely. As such, my search will inevitably take a great deal of time. For that, you have my apologies in advance. I see, I understand. There's something you must do, and so you have to leave. Will you come back to find me, won't you, Seymour? Affirmative. Alright then, be careful, Seymour. You have to come back, alright? My token, the symbol of my life, is with you, so don't go breaking down some place where I can't find you. Uh, you have my word, Miss Mamir. I will fulfill my mission and return to your special coordinates. Okay, got it, got it. Anyway, I've suddenly got a bout of inspiration, so I'm going to paint now. Don't forget to come back and see me when you finish your work, okay? You have a deal. We'll take care of Samer for you now. Ah, so we'll go with him. Okay, alright, I understand. Uh, Ignus, Paimon, Seymour, uh, you all stay safe, alright? I'll make a move first. Mirror. So, uh, where are we going next? Seymour mentioned this place called the uh, Narcissus and Crawls. The Ordo, right? There's. I don't know what. Uh, what sort of place is that, anyway? Searching insufficient data, unable to answer. My standard deduction module was only able to give me this name. Apart from that, I do not possess any related information. 
Wait, then how are we supposed to find the place? We can help. Calculating affirmative. Your presence on the journey will greatly increase its success rate. Thank you very much for your help, Mr. Ignus. But let's just go anyway. Once everything is settled, we'll bring you back to Simamir. Okay, this this part of the quest was rather shorter. Ah, so I can't place it there. Mm -hmm. Where? Let's continue. No, the yeah, yeah, that's the name. But that was kind of. Is this part of the quest? Because this is the one I accidentally started. Did I have that? Center with lead the Elena's depths editor archive. Huh. Too slow. Squall and fury. There's another one here. Uh, Sinner Uthin, Elena's deepest depths editor archive. Cool. Let me see, I didn't pay, really pay attention to the map. Ah, I didn't notice it was here. But is that part of its body as well? It has those things like here. Maybe it was kind of a fat worm and not just... Yeah, but what about those bones here? Uh, the surface... The heads there... Uh, I'm not sure if that would be part, I don't think so. Yeah, those are going sideways compared to this. This one kind of. Uh, not sure. I think it kind of comes here and then backs here. 